so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, 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 it's me, Blippi! Have you ever been outside when it's raining? Yeah! What do you hold in your hand? Yeah, an umbrella, so then you don't get all wet. Why don't we draw an umbrella together? First, we have to draw a big half circle. Whoa! And then three smaller half circles the other way. There we go. And then we need to draw a letter J. Yeah, just like that for the handle. Doesn't that look like the letter J? <laughs> I know. And then if we draw lines like this, yeah, it has little sections that we can color it in and make a very colorful umbrella. So let's add some red right there. Whoa! Let's add some green. Whoa! There we go. And let's add some blue. Whoa! Now that's a colorful umbrella. Whoa! If you want to draw more with me, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah, B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And I have a great idea what we could draw today. Let's draw an animal, a really big animal. It's the third largest living land animal today. Yeah, it's a hippopotamus. Oh, what a silly name, hippopotamus. You can just call him a hippo. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hippos are really big. So let's draw it an oval. Yeah, for its mouth area. Ooh, and then half circle for its head. Ooh, and let, let's draw two small circles for the eyes. Ooh, and then two little cute ears. There we go. Ooh, and two dots for the nose. Little smiley face and a really big body because they're so big. Ooh, and then there's one back leg and another back leg, kind of looks like a rectangle. Big belly, and then two rectangles up here for the legs, but you can't forget about the tail. There we go, there we go, hey hippo. <laughs> well, if you wanna keep drawing with me, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, I'm at the Phoenix Zoo in Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, I think you and I should learn about some animals today. Let's go. Do you see that? That is a howler monkey. Yeah, do you see it? Yeah, right there. That is Bilbo, named after Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> That's funny. Let's act like monkeys together. That's Lulu the rhinoceros. And Lulu is 21 years old. <laughs> yeah, Lulu, party! Yeah! <laughs> That's a toucan. Did you see its big beak? Kind of looks like a banana. Let's check out another animal. Oh, whoa, look at this. Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a tiger. Whoa, hello kitty. <laughs> whoa, come over here, turn around. Whoa, 
This is where the tigers live. Hey, and look at who it is over here. Looks like we're getting ready to do some training. Did you see that? The tiger is doing exactly what he's saying. It looks like they're having so much fun. Target. Ooh, that was really cool. Did you see that? Hey, will you tell us why we just did that? Yeah, so uh, we train our animals so that um, they have the opportunity to make things easier for them and the staff. Ooh. So we don't train our animals to do tricks. Um, we do what we call behaviors. So for example, when I was having Jay target his nose to the end of this pole, um, it allowed me to move him to different positions so I could de see different parts of his body. Um, having him stand up is not only impressive to see how big a tiger is, um, but it gives me the chance to see his underside. Because just like us, they can get injuries like cuts and bruises. So it lets me check up on his body to make sure he's still feeling good. Ooh, well thank you so much for showing me what you just showed me. You're very welcome. All right, see you later. Thanks. <laughs> let's go see some more stuff. Do you see that animal? It's another cat. This is a jaguar. Whoa. I have a pail of carrots and some tongs. And we just got told we need to feed the next animal. Come on. Ooh. Hey, check it out. These are cables that you have to be on this side of them. But we just got permission to head inside so we can feed the animals. Let's go. Okay, this is a short barrier. Interesting. That wasn't too hard to get in. Oh, I see the animal, look. Let's go through the trees. Whoa, hey look, look at the animal. We get a feed, check it out. Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? This is a tortoise. Let's feed the tortoises, yeah. Check this out, this is a carrot and I'm using tongs because tortoises have really strong jaws. It might bite my finger off. Here you go. Whoa, oh, whoops, it slipped. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa, okay, would you like a little bit more? Yeah, okay, here you go. Oh, there you go. Whoa. This tortoise is about 550 pounds. Whoa, that is really heavy. Hey, and guess how old he is? Oh, he's 66 years old. Whoa, that's really old. Oh, hello. Hey, check this out. I'll pet this tortoise's head. Hello, how are you? Whoa! Whoa! Look! The tortoise is off the ground. Do you see that? Because that allows for all the bugs and everything to get away from its underneath area. Whoa! Okay, let's go get some more carrots. Whoa! Hello! How are you doing? Are you having a good day? Ooh, check it out! See this tortoise? This tortoise is a Galapagos tortoise, and it's a female. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, and here comes the male. 
Whoa, do you see how big he is? Oh, I'm getting trapped. Okay, I'm gonna loop right around here. See how this one's a little smaller? And this one is bigger? Whoa! This is a female, and this is a male. Whoa, hey! Do you two like each other? Yeah, you two look like your friends. <laughs> oh, would you like some more? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Good job! Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> hey, come a little closer. Okay, here you go. All right. Open wide, here comes the carrot. Whoa! There you go. Is that yummy? Hey, tortoises like carrots just like how I do. And carrots are nice and healthy. There you go. Whoa! You have a big mouth. Whoa! Look! I'm giving this tortoise a scratch, see? How does that feel? Does that feel good? Yeah! Do you see how the tortoise is standing on its legs really high in the air? In the wild they do this because a lot of times they have bugs underneath them and this allows for the finches, which are birds, go, go, to fly underneath there and then eat all of the bugs underneath this tortoise. Yeah, but for now, he's standing on his legs because this feels really good. It's kind of like when a grown-up gives you a back scratch. Yeah, I like when my mom gives me a back scratch. Yeah, how does this feel? You like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my turn. Okay, my turn. I'm ready. I'm ready! Oh no! Ooh, check this out. This is an armadillo. Okay, here you go. Run free! Oh, look! An armadillo is one of the ambassador animals at the zoo. That means it's an animal that you can meet face to face. Whoa! Hey! What are you doing? You want a treat? Armadillos love mealworms. Here you go. Uh-oh. Hey, come right over here. Here you go. Look, doesn't this armadillo look hard? Yeah, it is kind of hard. And it's not a shell. It's bone inside the armadillo's skin. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is Princess Buttercup. Ooh, all right, here you go. Here you go, Princess Buttercup. Ooh, look at Princess Buttercup's pretty little nails. Whoa. Okay, run free. Whoa, look at this animal. What kind of animal is this? This is an Indian crested porcupine. Whoa! Look at all of its spines. Are those spines? The big ones are just to make her look scary, but the dangerous ones are down by her tail. Oh, okay, down there. Whoa. And what is she doing right now? We're just enjoying some snacks. Ooh. She likes a lot of plants, so we've got her some biscuits, some yam, and some apple today. Ooh, that sounds pretty tasty, actually. Ooh. Let's take a closer look at the porcupine. Wow, you don't want to touch this animal on its tail. <laughs> This next area is really cool. Whoa, do you hear that? 
all these things are working really hard to keep this next area exactly like how the ocean is. Come here! Whoa, look at it! Whoa, there's so many filters and, and other things. It's so cool! Okay, come over here. Let me show you what it's doing. Yeah, this is Stingray Bay. And they're training the stingrays to do some pretty cool tricks. If you come to this zoo, you can use a flat, gentle hand and touch the stingrays on their back. But they're letting me go inside. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, first, I need to take off my shoes. One shoe. Whoa, two shoes. Okay, let's put those there. Can't forget about the socks because I'm gonna put these on. Whoa, they're like water socks or water shoes. Okay, let's put them on. All right, okay, okay, <laughs> I'm ready, here we go. You have to be nice and smooth and slow so you don't scare them. Oh, oh the water's nice and cold. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name is Mary, and this is Kelsey. We work here at the Phoenix Zoo. Woo! So what are you doing right now? So right now we're giving breakfast to our stingrays, and we're checking them to make sure everybody's healthy and happy this morning. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Can I help? Sure. Would you like to feed some? Ooh, yeah. Let's feed the stingrays. Okay. So Look at them. They <laughs> have shrimp and smelt. So you can take a Ooh. couple and you can put it in your hand. Okay. Check out the food. Whoa! Looks so tasty. Okay, I put it in my hand. You're gonna hold it like an ice cream cone. Okay. Ooh, I like ice cream. <laughs> okay, just like that. Put it nice and deep into the water. They're gonna swim over your hand and they're gonna suck it out of your hand like a vacuum. Okay. Okay, here you go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look at that one. So you've got a uh, blue spotted ribbon tail sitting on your feet. <laughs> okay. Do I go deeper in the water? Let's see what we can do. Oh, there Come you on, go. guys. Oh, I did it! Look! It's gone! <laughs> it sucked it right out of my hand. Can I do it again? You can't. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> they suck the food right out of my hand. It's kind of like, have you ever put a vacuum on your hand and then the vacuum sucks on your hand? That's kind of how it feels like when it's sucking the food out of your hand. Whoa, <laughs> that one just swam through my legs. <laughs> Whoa. Look at them. So they're getting used to you now. So they can yeah. feel who you are by your heartbeat. Okay. They're understanding that you're not going to hurt them. And so they're coming closer and closer Whoa. as they're getting more and more comfortable with you. Yep. Look at them. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that scared me. What happened there? They just got a little bit excited. Okay. Excited, not scared? Yeah. Okay. Because I kind of got scared. <laughs> But that's okay. They kind of seem really gentle. Oh, whoa, whoa, there they go again. <laughs> Look at how wet I'm getting. <laughs> All right, let's feed some more. Hello, look at all these stingrays. Whoa. <laughs> all right, bye-bye stingrays. Ooh, now we're gonna take a camel ride. <laughs> Have fun, Flippy. Thank you. Look, this is the top of the camel. See the hump? I'm gonna sit on top of it. Whoa! Now I'm on top of a camel. Okay, here we go. All right. Check it out. Wee! Whoa! Hey! Look! 
I'm on the hump of the camel. Whoa, this is a nice camel. This is a dromedary camel. It's really high up here. Whoa, <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Wee! Hello. the hump of the camel, they store fat in here. And they can actually go about seven months without eating food. Or three to four weeks without drinking any water. That's pretty impressive, huh? Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! some pretty long legs, huh? And it has four legs. And you and I have two. Whoa. All right, this is pretty fun. Whoa, <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, okay, let's go see some more animals. Ooh, now we're behind the scenes of the native Arizona exhibit. Ooh, check it out. Look, some tools. Hey, what does this look like? Kind of looks like a golf club. <laughs> but actually, see how it has a hook? It's used to handle certain types of reptiles, like a snake. Okay, but I'm not gonna use that because I'm not a trained professional. Ooh, check it out. Wow, some aquariums. <laughs> the fish are on the other side. We're behind the scenes. Whoa, look at this room. Whoa, this is a box. And this is where a snake lives. Let's read what kind it is. Rattlesnake. Venomous? <gasps> okay, I don't think I should handle that one. Cause like I said, I'm not a trained professional. <laughs> Let's find a snake that I can handle. Oh, this room's pretty cool. Whoa, there's so many cages right here. Whoa, what are these? These are snake sheds. Wow, every snake sheds its skin every couple months. Look at that, and they're all in one piece. Look, doesn't that look like a snake? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Okay, okay. I'll keep these right here. Okay. Yeah, this one looks like a good snake to handle. I'm handling a snake. Whoa, and look at the color of this snake. It's orange and white and black. Whoa. I used to be afraid of snakes when I was a child, but now I'm not. But some snakes you definitely don't want to hold. So if you ever see a snake in the wild, just to be safe, you probably shouldn't try and hold it like this. Okay, whoa! Look, are you having fun, snake? Whee! Hello! Hey! Whoa, look at it! Whoa! It's so intrigued with the camera! Whoa! This is awesome. We're behind the scenes of another reptile area. Whoa, there's so many cool tanks in here with so many unique creatures. Whoa. <laughs> hey, whoa, look right here. Oh, hey, there's someone over here. Come here. Whoa, hey, what are you doing? Just getting ready to check out one of our horned lizards. Did you want to hold him? Yeah, a horned lizard, that's cool. Okay. Okay, thank you. Whoa, look! This is a horned lizard. Check out its horns. Wow, 
Wow. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, knees just hanging out. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, there you go. That was awesome. Good job. Let's go. Hello, hello. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. A lion? Mm -hmm. Ooh, an elephant. <laughs> Whoa, look! <laughs> this is a gorilla. <laughs> and some snakes? Yeah, I got to hold a snake. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Okay, follow me. Ooh, there's even a dinosaur. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Interesting. Well, hey, that was so much fun learning about animals with you at the zoo. This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you later. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And you know what we're drawing today? Yeah, a bulldozer. I love bulldozers. They're so big and heavy, and they pushed with that front blade anything and everything out of its way. All right, let's use the color orange. A lot of pieces of construction vehicles, yeah, are the color orange. All right, so let's draw a line right here, a 90 degree angle, whoa, and then another line, and another line, and down. Whoa, what does that look like? Yeah, looks like a backwards L. <laughs> this is where the engine is, and that's where the operator sits. Need to give them a square for a window so then they can see. And then, does a bulldozer have wheels and tires or tracks? Yeah, tracks. <laughs> so let's draw a very, very big oval. Wow, there we go. Yeah, and then we need to draw the blade. Whoa, kind of looks like a moon, doesn't it? And then we need to connect that just like that. And now, that looks like a bulldozer, but you can't forget about the ripper. Whoa, cool. Well, if you love drawing with me and you wanna draw some more, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. It's me, Blippi! And look at what I have! Whoa! This is a lot of tools! <laughs> I am so excited to use these tools today with you! But first, we need to shut the workshop garage door. Check this out! Oh, this is a chain! Whoa! <laughs> Sounds cool, you can make music with it. <laughs> okay, anywho, you pull one side down and then it shuts the door. All right, <laughs> there we go. Whoa, all right, back to the cool stuff, the tools. In this video, I am gonna use these tools. And yep, they are real tools like this handsaw, or this cordless drill. <laughs> but I'm gonna use all safety precautions that should be used at all times. And also, just because you're a wee young, you shouldn't use real tools. 
But what you can use are toy tools, like this hammer, ooh, pair of pliers, ooh, like this saw. <laughs> but for this video, I, Flippy, am gonna use real tools with all safety gear on and safety precautions because I'm a grown-up and only grown-ups should use real tools. So first, let's listen to the Blippy Tool song. Ah. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. The wrench tightens pipes going clang, clang. A hammer hits a nail going bang, bang, bang. A drill is making holes going zzz, zzz. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Cutting wires with some pliers going snip, snip. Cutting paper with some scissors going clip, clip. When you're working with tools, you've got to be real safe by wearing gloves on your hands and goggles on your face. And boys and girls, when you're working with tools, always follow mom and dad's safety rules. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. tools to choose from. But first, we need our safety gear on. And what's really important are safety glasses. Yeah. So what they do is help protect your eyes. See? Nothing's hurting my eyes. Awesome. Okay, so we'll have those on. And then what we need to put on are safety gloves. So let's put one glove on and then Let's put another glove on. So that makes one, two gloves. And you have to clap. <laughs> okay, and another set of safety gear is my earmuffs. We'll put these on later when we're ready for them. Okay, so now let's make sure we're nice and organized because you can't be unorganized when you're doing hard work like this. So let's bring this right over here. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's put this right here. And then, now let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this piece of wood right here. <laughs> See how tall it is? Whoa, it's about up to my chest. And we need to cut this into a smaller piece. Whoa! See how big that piece of wood is? Whoa! <laughs> All right, so let's set this piece of wood down right here. All right, and then we need to go get some tools. Do you know what tool to use to cut a piece of wood? Is it this? No! This is a broom and a dustpan. <laughs> That's for cleanup time. Okay. Huh. Let's see. Is it is it this tool right over here? No! This is a hammer! Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> you hammer in nails with a hammer. <sighs> that can't cut a piece of wood. Hmm. 
Yeah! Yeah! A saw! This is a hand saw, and this is what we're gonna use to cut a piece of wood. So, let's put it right over here. Okay, and then, do you see this? Whoa, there's a cable attached to it. Do you know what that means? Yeah, it doesn't work right now because it doesn't have power. So, we need to attach some power to it. All right. What over here can pull power? Um, is it this? <laughs> this is a cordless drill. It gets power from its battery. See? But it can't provide power to this saw. <gasps> yeah! Yeah, you're right! Good job! This is an extension cable. We plug this into the wall, and then the saw into this, and then it'll have power. Let's plug it in. Look at this right here. This is where you plug it into. Let's plug it in. Yeah! I did it! <laughs> All right. So now we need to find the other end. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Here it is. Let's go! Let me show you a trick. So we need to plug these two together. But if you just plug them in, it's probably gonna come unplugged at some point. So check this out. Goop! Swoop! And then plug. Loop! Swoop and plug. See? Now you can tug on it gently and it won't come unplugged. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so now this saw is live. So if you pull the trigger, it goes. So we'll keep this right here for now. And then we need to measure this piece of wood. So let's go over here and locate the tool that we can use to measure. Is it this? No! This is a standard screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, it's just screws and screws. Okay, we need something that you can use to measure. <gasps> yeah, a measuring tape. Yeah, right here. This is a measuring tape. Check it out. Whoa! <laughs> Do you see these numbers? Yeah, these are numbers that tell you how short and small and long and big things are. Perfect. All right, let's take a marker. You know what that is. And now let's measure. Okay, all right. Here we go. So let's measure this piece of wood. Whoa, it's really big. So let's measure it to... I know, 12 inches. Do you see the number 12? Right there, 12. It's one after 11 and one before 13. Yeah, so let's make a mark. Perfect. And that is 12 inches. Hey. Did you know, in some places of the world, 12 inches is one foot? <laughs> yep, so today we're measuring in inches and feet. But in some parts of the world, they measure in centimeters and meters. <laughs> okay, all right, let's put these tools back over here. And let's put on our earmuffs. Hello? What did you say? I can't hear you! <laughs> okay, anyways, let me get back to work. All right, so here we go. This is where I need to cut that line. And this is the saw I'm gonna use to cut it. And let me remind you again, 
This is a grown-up tool, and you should not use grown-up tools. But you can use child play tools. Those are really fun. Yeah, those toys are so fun to play with. Okay, but for now, we need to get some work done. So, I'm gonna prop this up, line it up, and then when I pull the trigger, it's gonna go. Here we go. Yeah! Look! Remember how this piece of wood used to be up to my chest? But now, it's up to my belly button. <laughs> See? Now it's up to my chest. <laughs> what? I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, let me take these off. All right, so we need this piece of wood. And actually, we need this piece of wood too. We need to screw them together like that. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, put that right here while we put this away. So first, let's unplug it. Perfect. All right, now, when you pull the trigger, nothing happens. So, let's wrap up the cable and the cord, and let's stay organized and put it away. And then, let's wrap up the extension cable. All right, nice and organized. Hello! <laughs> All right, put that right there. And now, we need to do two things. Remember how I said we need to screw in the two pieces of wood? So we need a screwdriver or a drill. And then the other thing we're gonna do is hammer in a nail. So we need a hammer and a nail. Let's find those items now. Okay, let's see. A hammer, let's see, oh yeah, yeah, remember? Yeah, a hammer. This is a hammer. You know what a hammer is. Boop, 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 boop. It hammers in nails. Okay, and let's see. Here's a nail. Perfect. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Let's grab a second nail. Okay, so now I have two nails. Put it right over here. And then we need a drill and a screw. Do you see those? Yeah, here it is. Oh, wait a second. This is bolt cutters. <laughs> this isn't what we need. <laughs> okay, what we need, yeah, right here. The drill, the cordless drill. Whoa! <laughs> and then, two screws. Perfect. So we have everything we need. So, let's move all this stuff back down to here. So, we're gonna screw these in together. And then, we're gonna nail this on top, okay? So, let's screw it in. First, you take your drill, and you start drilling, nice and slow. Yep. Perfect. All right. And then, here's another one. Perfect. There we go. See? <laughs> Perfect. They stick together. Whoa. All right. So now what we need to do is put this right here. Do it a little bit further. Okay, so now, to keep this on top, we now need to hammer in two nails. Okay, so one nail, two nails, see? Okay, so let's put, let's start with the small one first. See how one's smaller than the other? Yeah, let's start with this one. 
put it right there and make sure you don't hit your your fingers perfect there's one and then here's another We did it! Check it out! <laughs> yeah! So we have three pieces of wood together! See? If I just hold this one, all three stay together! <laughs> and you know what I'm gonna do with this? Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Yeah! Oh! Oh, yeah! This is my new back massager! <laughs> Yeah! I love building things. Oh, yeah. That's the spot. <laughs> yeah, we did such a good job learning about tools today together. And remember, like I said, I used grown-up tools because I am a grown-up. But you should use toy tools and never use grown-up tools, real tools, until you're a grown-up, okay? Will you promise me that? <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Let's spell my name together, all right? B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. All right, now it's time for cleanup. Clean up, clean up, clean up your stuff, 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 clean up, clean up, clean up your stuff. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, Working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. The wrench tightens pipes going clang, clang. A hammer hits a nail going bang, bang, bang. A drill is making holes going zzz, zzz. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, Working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Cutting wires with some pliers going snip, snip. Cutting paper with some scissors going clip, clip. When you're working with tools, you've got to be real safe by wearing gloves on your hands and goggles on your face. And boys and girls, when you're working with tools, always follow mom and dad's safety rules. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Hey, do you want to learn to draw with me? Yeah! I love drawing. It's so much fun expressing your creativity through your hand. And a marker, or a crayon, or a colored pencil, or a paintbrush. Wow! Well, you and I today are gonna draw an animal. Yeah, and will you guess what animal we'll draw? Okay, it's gonna be fun. Ready? Okay, this animal has two legs. Yeah! A bunch of feathers, a beak, it lives on the farm a lot of the time, and it lays eggs! Yeah! 
a chicken! Wow, are you ready to draw a chicken? Because I sure am. Okay, let's start with the color brown, and let's draw a big circle right in the middle of the page. Just like that. Perfect! And that's the body of the chicken. Cluck, 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 cluck. <laughs> and now let's draw some feathers, just like this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoa, there we go. Wow, doesn't it look like it's gonna try and fly? Whoa, how about some tail feathers? There we go. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty cute, yeah. And now, let's draw the head, there we go. Perfect, whoa, let's draw a nice eye right there. Whoa, and then, what do they have for a mouth? Yeah, and where the nose is as well? Yeah, a beak. <laughs> All right, let's draw a big orange beak. There we go. Whoa, so big! Ha <laughs> I'm ready for some chicken food. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the two legs. So straight line like that, and then three lines at the bottom. One, two, three. And then we'll do the same. One leg, and then one, two, three. Whoa, how does that look? Wow, what a cute chicken. That chicken looks like it eats a lot of food. <laughs> Wow, well, hey, why don't we add some more color to the chicken? Yeah, maybe we'll make a comb right up top. Whoa, there we go, with some red. Ooh, we can add some colors to these feathers like that. Whoa, cool, and what about right there? Wow, what a cool looking chicken. <laughs> well, that was so much fun drawing a chicken with you. Whoa, if you wanna draw more with me, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to share.